The executive yuan has approved a draft bill to create a center for bilingual national development. If the bill is passed, it will establish a center that promotes the government's bilingual by 2030 policy. For most of news uh, reporter, Stephanie Yang gets the details from NDC Deputy Minister Shu Kehe. In 2018, the government announced the goal of making Taiwan bilingual in English and Chinese by 2030. Since then, the public and private sectors have worked to expand foreign recruitment and establish English language services. On September 2nd, the cabinet finalized a draft bill to create a center dedicated to developing Taiwan's bilingual environment. The center's mission will include improving the English learning environment for all education levels, training government officials, and increasing digital learning. <laughs> It will target higher education as well as the high school level and below. It will also promote digital learning as well as improvement in the GPT and English for public servants. We at the National Development Council basically focus on planning policies for talent development and manpower issues. Our scope of consideration goes beyond education. The center will bring together resources from various departments and private organizations. The center will work with education institutions as well as the tech and publishing sectors and NGOs. You can see that outside of Taiwan's current education and civil service system, outside of its private schools, there are actually lots of social organizations, both for-profit and non-profit. You can see on the internet, there are lots of startups that are very language related. If English is never applied, then proficiency will not exist. So how do we create opportunities for application? Let's take the business sector as an example. Whether it's wholesale, retail, lodging, or food and beverage, if the English language is applied only during training, then there is not much point. The bill for the bilingual center will be reviewed by lawmakers in the current session. If passed, the center could be established by the end of the year. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Lu Botong in Taipei.